Switch sunshine in your mouth. Buy a cup or I punch my sister. It's true. He's not bluffing. <laughs> I'll take 15 lemonades. Make that 16. Six yeah. cups, please. And put it on my tab. Keep moving, deadbeat. Cash only. Fine. Lisa, can Daddy borrow your bike? I guess. <laughs> be very difficult for a woman to propose marriage. But I am willing to go halfsies on a ring. Seymour. Edna wants to break up. She wants to break up? Yeah. With me? Yeah. <laughs> Gee, compared to you, my life is one big half day. Oh, but that was amazing. He actually felt better coming out of the breakup than he did going in. Say, Homer, you're real good at this. Oh, here she comes. Work your magic, Homer. Is Lenny here? Oh, I'm afraid Lenny's dead. Don't worry, folks. Our Master Chef is stirring up a fresh batch. Thirty-five cents? Where did that come from? Can't be mine. Must be yours. Jeez, I'm thirsty. You got any lemonade? Not anymore! I'll get to you. Just as soon as I finish this crossword puzzle. Aww. Aww. Let's go, buddy. FDR's middle name, Delano. Oxidized surface. Well, that's rusty. Bartenders serve them dirty. Now give me my license. Give everyone their license. Yay! I heard how good you are at breaking up couples. I need your help to break up with Julio, because I met someone new. <laughs> my caramba! Bart, I've fallen in love with crosswords. You're losing it! Losing it! Risque 80s teen flick. Fine, go nuts. See if I care. I care. You'll always have a special place in his heart. In his what? Okay, everyone. Rotate one to your right. Cruciverbalist is a fan of crossword puzzles, which I am! Me too! Grandpa, everyone knows that the only real test of scale is the New York Times puzzle, edited by Will Short. Okay, back to the real world. Isn't it beautiful? Sure is. Who's driving the bus? What bus? I'll be there in 30 minutes, or your breakup is free! Puzzle head myself. They uh, helped me wind down after a day of dealing with Skinner. You called? Go home and make sure my pool boy is using his skimmer. You called? You misheard. My mistake. I know this is hard on you, but in time you'll come to see it's for the best. That's one of your breakup lines. <laughs> Where are the babies those couples would have had? <laughs> Marge, I'm getting out of the breakup business. Wow, so this is what this is. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's kind of a secret, so shut the door most of the way. And these days, betting in a bar is safer than any stock bond or real estate investment. I win! She won! And like any prudent gambler, I know when to walk away. And when you win, I win. <laughs> Some little piece of me says, you don't deserve this. And another little piece says, I agree. I'm going against my daughter. <gasps> I'll take your money, but I won't look you in the eye. Ping, 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 she's done. Uh, Shirley passed away two years ago, but I'm still not over it. Let's see, I'll spread some cues around. That'll get my brain going. Mm -hmm. There are no lenses in these glasses. Let's see, that's Enrico Fermi, and there you got the Pet Shop Boys and Cross the T and Zing the Z and... Woohoo! Here's your money, drenched in your daughter's tears. You know, for a bartender bookie, you're awfully judgmental. He bought new shoelaces with fancy metal tips. Well, sweetie, Daddy made a little extra money betting against you in the crossword tournament. You sure you're not mad? No. I'm not mad. You're saying that you know women? And that when women say they're not mad, they're madder than ever? Oh, please look at your daddy. 
You stop being my daddy as soon as you bet against me. Hey, Mr. S. Lisa B. No! Till a chance she'll take you back as a daddy. Wow. Nobody gives better parenting advice than childless drunks. I'm honored that you chose my name, but it's not that great. Back in high school, the boys used to call me Marge Boubier. I'm through with crosswords. My innocence died in those 441 little boxes. Last clue. Loses on purpose. Huh. <gasps> but what if it's not? Oh, it must be. Or mustn't it not? But did you plant a message to me in the New York Times crossword puzzle? Well, I had a little help from this guy. Well, I must admit, I'm kind of touched. <laughs> Dumb dad, sorry for his bed. Dear Lisa, you make me so happy. I cherish you. Oh, dad. A sky tweet from Commissioner Sweeney. This looks like a job for at Radioactive Man underscore 01. The enemy of drinking water everywhere, the fracker. You lie! Holy hadrons. I need backup. Please remember when you used to be environmental scientist Rex Bernstein. I have become my destiny. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> wow! Midnight! I won't know which day to write in my diary. <laughs> Mr. Book Guy, can I go first? I was once cast to play Fall Out Boy in a movie. That is some tasty cashish, my friend. Indeed. And how did you spend your evening? Mm, let's see. Now when Milo talks to himself, it won't seem crazy. So, Milo talks to himself. Nerds don't get girls! These days they do, man. Comic-Con is now 8% women. Oh, Marge and I get along perfect. We're like George Burns and John Denver. Mm. It's better than I remembered, actually. No! No, it isn't! It's horrible! No Mary Jane or Lois Lane with whom I'd co-mingle. But they don't satisfy in the way that they used to. Guess I've always been lonely, but I've never revealed it. Or is it my imagination? I'm your imagination. The real Stan Lee's over there. Excelsior! Huh? Uh. Don't let it slip by. Hey, I'm 90 years old. I can do what I want. I am Kumiko Nakamura from Osaka. I'm visiting America's saddest cities as research. Yes, the window. But you don't see me. You're either looking down in disgust or up in disdain. Mm -hmm. Bart, your comic vendor's here! Uh, actually, it is you. As long as our bellies never touch again like they are right now. <laughs> <laughs> no woman will be able to resist you dressed like this. Does anyone tell you that you look like the man on a box of Mr. Sparkler? <laughs> Kumiko, for you we chose the coolest restaurant in town. But the walls are covered with garbage. Oh. Wisconsin? Cheddar? Maryland, Blue Crab. They're neither in alphabetical nor geographical order. What? Oh, I don't mind. If you think it's stupid, say it's stupid. Really? You should have spent less on the kitsch and more on the kitchen. have nurtured our love like Steven Spielberg nurtured the careers of Zemeckis and Gale. Oh, well, I want you to take Kumiko and Comic Book Guy a housewarming present and maybe check in on them. Not a word. You're Kumiko's father? Welcome, Sensei. I am not Kung Fu instructor. Where is my daughter? Okay, she moved in with her boyfriend. Well, he's not a boy. He's immature. You are coming back to Japan. There are 87 old people who need you to take care of them. Because it's breaking. Wizard of Oz reference. <sighs> Did I do that? Urkel reference. Yeah, Homer, we have much in common. We both love our daughters and discipline our son. You promised double suicide. You hear what you want to hear. 
always with me. Well, that's disgusting. Wine made of rice? Nice stuff with the snake wine. Why did I drink the fish wine? That was the aquarium. I've used my hitherto unmentioned chemical engineering degree to get a real job at the Springfield Phosphate Works. But I rented the store. I, I eBayed my stool. Canceled the sale. But then my seller rating will go down. To celebrate the wedding of comic book guy and Kamiko Nakamura. <laughs> Ghost wife, how are you happy? Kind of. <laughs> Oh, I missed one of Jerry Zinger's. No, I'll never catch up. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to see him fire a gorilla out of a cannon. Enjoy the show, for one day we shall die. I cannot help you. I am just a local merchant from uh, this town. Just smash it open! Look at those exotic positions. Watching those women is giving me ideas. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. I paid full price for this freak show. Now nourish the child within me. Overnight, expect rain, turn into freezing rain, turn into sleet, turn into snow, and then melting in the summer. Snow? Shelbyville, Ogdenville, Ogdenville Tech, and Springfield Elementary. <gasps> My dear, watching detective school. Oh, no, stop. Your father and I don't get the day off. Liddy says we've got the day off. Yippee! They look wonderful. Uh, yes, yeah. Hey, where are the teachers? Nah, their union is called an emergency caucus. Caucus, caucus, caucus! What's that, Blitzen? Why, yes, it is Christmas Eve. I'm happy. Whoa! Hey! What the hell is this? <laughs> it's classic mirth-making is what it is. I've been singing for two hours. This couldn't have less to do with Christmas. And I think that's a stagehand. Next time, get a DVD. This is a DVD. <gasps> oh, dear God. <gasps> Prince no Skinner, we're snowed in. Roads closed, pipes frozen, albinos virtually invisible. Billionaire Montgomery Burns and a veritable orgasm of poor planning. He shoots, he scores. <laughs> so I'm afraid we're stuck here for the duration. Oh, but it's my kid's birthday. No one leaves the building. This stinks. We'll miss the itchy and scratchy when they finally kiss. I don't care if they're kissing Christy Yamaguchi. But I wish you hadn't sawed off my roof. My car, your roof. It's only fair. <laughs> but it's my car. Oh, Mr. Plow, that's my name. That game again is Mr. Plow. Screw this. The rest of you can stay here like dorks, but I'm going home. Yeah! Yeah! We want out! We want out! We want out! We want out! Yeah. Sarge, let's make a break for it while the guards are partying with Jane Fonda. Nope, too dangerous. We're all gonna sit tight and reminisce about candy bars. Stand down! Uh -huh. I said stand down! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think we hit something. I hope it's Flanders. If you have to answer nature's call during the night, use this bucket next to Bart's head. Hey! <sighs> Because these days, princesses... Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, here's a scouring pad. It's just as good. It's cold and hurty. Not on my watch, he's not. Oh, no! He did do a bunny job, sir. Defying orders, eh? Well, I see you Scotsmen are thrifty with courage, too. Help! It came again! What's the problem, Seymour? Stuck? Oh, no. That's it. Cinch it up around the neck. This is a gross misuse of school property. Your reign of fussiness is over. Attention, the school is now under kid control. You are hereby ordered to go nuts!
getting a cramp in my wrist. Oh, boo-hoo. After all the times I've done it, my wrist sounds like a cement mixer. What part of Diddy Mao don't you understand? Nelson, put that globe down. Bill out, stay out of my desk. How old is this thing? Lisa is an outstanding student with a slight tendency toward know-it-allism. <gasps> hey, look how much Skinner makes. $25,000 a year. Wow! Billionaire! Wow! If I were a billionaire, why would I be living with my mother? <laughs> Mm. Mm. You're my only hope, Nibbles. There you are! Falcon and Eagle have located Bag of Crap. Mm. Marvelous! Marvelous! Homer! Uh, Homer! Homer, wake up! The car's filling with... I know! Ranch dressing! <laughs> now let's go save those kids! You're the camel! It's happening! My horoscope was right! You did it, Nibbles. Better be a good explanation for this. There is, sir. Ah, then I'm happy. Come on, kids. Let's leave this awful place and never come back. Ignore her, Effendi. We have each other. Oh, baby. Ah!